Good morning guys and welcome to cold and rainy Connecticut. Hey, how's it going? We teleported from Florida to Connecticut and it's cold and rainy and not snowing. What's up guys? How you doing? Hi. If you guys aren't familiar with this cluster, you haven't been watching my channel for a while, we are indeed in my dad's prelude right now. A car that is very special, near and dear to my heart. I love this thing. So he's lent it to me to drive, and we are on our maiden voyage out to Wallingford, where we'll start the journey to finding a WRX. And I know I need to give you guys some, some bit of backstory, so. So in the winter in the Northeast, there's nothing cooler than having an all-wheel drive car and being able to bomb through the snow and stuff. And if you remember, when I originally got the Evo, the whole purpose behind it was to have a winter beater up in Connecticut. And I was looking for like a crashed up Evo 8 that I could put back together. And I wound up getting a good deal on that Evo 5, falling in love with it, and not wanting to destroy it in the snow. That in combination with the fact that my Evo is down in Florida right now, leaves me without a all wheel drive snow fun car up in the north. Why Connecticut? Uh, my dad lives up here so I come and visit often. A lot of my like friends are up here that I've known from childhood and stuff. And most importantly, my girlfriend. And I knew I wanted to come visit her around like New Year's time, so I was talking with Jimmy when he was down for the open house, and I'm like, dude, what can we do for content? Because I don't have any cars up north. So the idea was to do some winter budget beaters. And it's not gonna be necessarily like a build-off, but we're both gonna get similar cars, and we're gonna have some fun with them. The whole build-off competition thing can just be stressful, and like I'm kinda out of my element up here. I don't really have a shop to work out of. I don't feel like slaving away for like hours and hours every day. I just kind of want to have fun, mess around, and hang out with the guys. So that's how this thing started. Now the original plan between me and Jimmy for cars was to do like some GC8s, but uh, we kind of found out that they are kind of on the expensive side. We wanted to be around the $1,500 mark, which we thought would get us uh, NA 5-speed, like 2.5 GC8. Um, more research we did, we realized there's actually the newer ones that are cheaper. And I made a post in the Tri-State Region Subaru Group about spending about two grand on a Impreza, you know, something five-speed all-wheel drive. And it turned out that the early 2000s WRX wagons are super cheap and there's a bunch of dudes that had like kind of rusty ones with rebuilt engines that are perfect for what we're looking for and we're willing to sell and there's a lot of them. So that's what we're gonna look at today. I've wanted a Subaru since I was a kid. I feel like every kid wanted a blob eye WRX STI and I wanted a white one with blue stripes and the whole, when I got older, the whole thing that scared me away from was the whole, you look at a boxer engine the wrong way and they blow up. And a perfect example of that, when I'm looking at all these WRXs, every single one's like 100,000 on the chassis, 20,000 on the motor, 150,000 on the chassis, 40,000 on the motor, which kind of gives you an identifying factor. If you're ever looking for a car and all of them have engine swaps, they probably have a high tendency of blowing up at higher mileage. And that unfortunately is just one of the problems of the EJ. I don't specifically know why, but the whole reliability factor is what steered me in the direction of the Evo. Again, yes, I blew up my Evo. Yes, I was also making 400 all wheel on a stock engine, which is pushing it, but we don't need to talk about that. Let's go get a car. So I hit Derek up last night. Cause I, Jimmy's like at the shop super late and I knew Jimmy wouldn't want to drive out to where we go, Deep River? Deep River, Connecticut, baby. <laughs> Deep in the river. And I knew that Jimmy wouldn't want to drive out here, so like, there, you want to go to Deep River with me to check out a Subaru? And you said you had to come here anyway? Yeah, so I, I had to go here anyways to deliver an ECU to a friend of mine. Come to find out, it's the same person. So the person that's selling the WRX I wanted to look at, also you had to go there, so it worked out great. Because I, I didn't want to drive out there and then not be able to take the car back with me. So this way, if the car checks out good. Um, I'm kind of torn. Like I said, every single WRX either has a lot of miles or has a replaced engine. And it's kind of one of those things where I like to believe that a stock and open engine is probably better than some random kid's like rebuild. But you said you know this guy? I know this guy well. Yeah. And apparently like he works on Subarus. Yeah, I mean, he's, they both specialize in Subarus and, and I'm not worried about this one. Okay. But, but it's still one of those things, like it's hard to like high mileage stock engine that hasn't been rebuilt or rebuilt one that they say has as much miles. I feel like it's even dicey. high mileage cars, they're just lying to you and they've all been rebuilt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I don't know. So we'll check it out. I'm, I'm excited to see what Jimmy ends up getting. Yeah, me too. He just got off the phone with me. He's like, dude, like it's a little over budget, but I found this clean one. Like Jimmy, you're not gonna wanna crash it if it's clean. Right. <laughs> Next thing you know, it'll be stance on some big three-piece wheels. Yeah, I'll sit in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll give you guys a rundown, but before we get too excited, I want to take it for a test drive. What do you think, Derek? Uh, I mean, it's a Subaru, and it's a pile of shit, but no it'll play, work. No tune. Do 
dude, it moves. It's got some pep. Dude, I'm pumped. <laughs> we just accelerated. It's dude, got like, some pep. The prelude feels slow compared to this thing. <laughs> so what should I do since I don't have a plate? Like, do you know this area? Uh, I do know this area. The cops are terrible, but I'd still launch it off of rev limiter. <laughs> Should you go right and then pull a Yui or? Um, yeah, definitely go right. Left is the center of town. You're not going to want to go over there. Up or do these things not like no, that? No, no. hammer this thing. A very uh, linear power. Yeah, dude. Seven pounds. Yeah. Dude, this is perfect. I'm pumped. Yeah, this is this is the deal right here. All right. Where should I turn around? Uh, I would go. Uh, actually, if you go through the light, there's a commuter lot. Okay. Wait, How's that e-brake work? I mean, I'm gonna try. Yeah, it out. straight, straight. It's a commuter lot. Uh, right at that sign, the green sign. I think you bang a Rico. Dude, this thing's so good. Get a quick tune in her. How's this e-brake work? Oh, it we'll, doesn't. We'll find out. It doesn't really. You gotta chuck it a little bit. Show me something. Is there cops in here? Oh, show me something. Oh, I'll, I'll give her a good shrimp. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, it doesn't uh, do anything! We can adjust that. We'll work with that. <laughs> We're going to have to throw that in the deal. He's going to have to fix that. Well, we'll throw it on the lift real quick. We can give her an You think you could drift this? I this little cul-de-sac? I don't know. Probably not. Maybe. Do you clutch kick these cars? I have no weird? idea, dude. Oh. Dude, she moves. Dude, I'm pumped. What's that temp gauge looking like? Oh, yeah. Not overheating. Yet. Drift Yet. Block. Dude, I'm pumped. The steering wheel is a little sticky though. That's... I mean, I feel like the whole car is a little sticky. I don't. I really don't want to spend money on it, but Ew. This, yeah, that's kind of a big yikes. Maybe I'll put a steering wheel in there, just a cheapo. Dude, I'm so excited. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be good. We gotta fix the brake though. Oh yeah, that's that's number one. You think you think it'll be cool to do a little? Next walk? one. Nope. Further down. Further down. Look at the BMW. What's up? It's a E34. Oh, dude, he's looking at my hood scoop. Hey, yo, you want to vape with me, brother? <laughs> Wait, should I go through the big puddle? Absolutely, it's a rally car, dude. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get him kicked out of their new, their new shop. Yeah, it's not overheating yet. All right, should we pull her back in? Yeah. Give it the old beep, the, old, the old two beep. Oh! oh! Oh, deal breaker. Deal breaker, dude. Put, throw the keys out the window. We're done here. Oh, the all-wheel drive turning radius. Hey, the handbrake doesn't work, man. Huh? The handbrake doesn't work. No. No. We can tighten it up. All right, sold. Cool. <laughs> Did you blow it up? No, why? Huh? Is it smoking? No. Okay, you scared me. No, no, We're going to go over the car once we get back to Jimmy's shop, but I'm officially officially uh connecticut northeast super boy with my sweet wrx making all the rumbly noises through your neighborhood late at night with my friends in the back doing vapes that's me i'm pretty excited i gotta fix the handbrake but other than that like this thing's pretty well sorted i say that now i am gonna try for once to actually do like a proper budget build and not just throw a bunch of money at it so very, very minimal uh, dollars is going to be going into this. I'm going to focus more on driving the crap out of it rather than throwing a bunch of money and parts at it for no reason. So, I will say, compared to a lot of my cars, it does ride surprisingly smooth on the highway. No real play in the wheels. He did say it just got new ball joints done on it. And uh, it's smooth. New struts. I approve of this car. You just listen to these beautiful super noises. Oh, yeah. Listen to that rumble. Oh, nothing like a boxer in the afternoon. Oh. Boom. Oh, that's fast, man. That's that's good. Wow. I've arrived. I'm officially a Connecticut boy. Who's your vape? Uh, dude, you know, all jokes aside, I hit Justin up. I was like, yo, dude, you got any non-nicotine vapes I can borrow real quick? What do you think of her, dude? I think she's perfect. Uh, dude, she's I'm perfect. I'm a little jealous. So, I'm gonna pull it in the shop after we probably get food and give you guys a rundown and everything on it, but uh, it's almost out of gas. We're hungry and we gotta find Jimmy a car. How fun is that? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so jealous. It's like the perfect amount of <laughs> SCI scoop. Look yep. at you, LZ. Pay match, dude. <laughs> Pull some big money for Ooh, dude, check this out. The camo wheels. Sick, right? You've uh, never seen plastic dip like that. What the f what in Subaru Nation is that? Can't see them. True, man, dude. 
GT Subi at LZ at your service. You want to give it a rip real quick? Yeah, let's see how slow this thing is. It's, dude, it's not that bad. We're just gonna do it. So I don't know, do you think we, that's fine. Do you think we can weld the diff in this? <laughs> is that a thing? Oh, no, these the rear diffs? So these axles are supposed to be super weak. Yeah, but that's fine. It doesn't make power. On dirt roads and stuff. Oh, is that all you have for angle? It's an all-wheel drive car, Jim Jam. It's got an upgraded clutch. The engine's rebuilt, so. Okay, it says, says, says the guy. No, 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 we, Derek knows this guy. It's not bad, right? Not bad. Better than the We gotta inflate the tires like 100 PSI all around. I know. Oh my God. Dude, yeah, it's. We just bought a Subaru. Dude, new struts, man. Oh yeah, you can feel it. New ball joints. She She's tight. fresh, dude. Dude, on the highway, this thing was actually sick. Oh, dude, this is such a good buy. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I've been having such a miserable couple days talking to these Subi kids. Yeah. It's, dude, it's crazy the how many popped up for sale. The handbrake doesn't work. It needs new shoes. We tried adjusting it. Oh, shit, you're right. Well, it was a little, it was a well little... these are hard because these, like, under... These, like, under... So over. you have to left foot brake to get it to slide in back. What do you mean? You have to, like, hold your foot on the brake to load up the front and loosen up the rear. Yeah, there you go. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, see, you see what I mean? You felt that, right? Yeah. Yep. I thought we were going into the building. But um, that... They, that's weird. You gotta, like, actually... So I, I did like a rally school thing in Texas, and literally the oh, entire you're time, a professional. No, no, you hold your foot on the right or on the brake the whole entire time, and then you like apply brake pressure to like make the car turn. It's kind of sick. Well, we have a professional in here. Um, Pretty much mechanically perfect, except for split axle boots and one bad valve cover. That's it. Yeah. I, I, everything I was looking at was just like, yeah, it needs like. A knuckle, a transmission, uh, it's missing three spark plugs, and there might not be coolant in it. So what I'm gonna try to do, uh, or what we are gonna try to do, it's really tough doing like collab stuff just because of like video overlap and stuff. So we're gonna do our best to like split it up. So as an example, today me and Derek went, picked up this car, and then Jimmy's video today will be him. Hopefully and, picking up my car. And I'll help him or go with you or whatever. So we'll, we'll kind of have, that way we each have like different content each day and then the horn doesn't work. There's no Hellas? Mm. What kind of Subaru is this? There's no Hellas. <laughs> Bring it back. <laughs> What? Well, no, I want, I want to look at the valve cover leak real quick. Okay. So the story with the car, I guess. Hi, folks. Just want to mention again about our commercial. Polar cream soda. Very important that you get the brand. Polar has been around now since 1792. Yes, 1792. A long time. It is the greatest. I recommend you have it early in the morning, lunchtime, and at night. If you're a kid, make sure, like I've said before in our commercials, make sure your parents, when they go to the grocery store, they pick up Polar. We don't want to see other brands. There are other brands out there, but no good. Stay away. Polar, it's so important. You'll love it. It'll give you energy. It'll put you to sleep, whatever you want. Thanks. Bye. Do we need another take? The guy who had it got it traded plus cash for his other Subaru and it had a misfire that turned out to just be a cracked spark plug but the kid thought it was something else so he pulled the valve cover off, did a valve adjustment and didn't put it back on right. Cool. So that's what's going on with that. All right, so, so <laughs> what? He did a valve adjustment but put it, couldn't put the valve cover on right. That concerns me just a little bit. Yeah, it's Subaru stuff. But that's not the guy that built the engine. So the story behind it, it is technically a rebuilt engine, I guess. The guy's friend is a, a Subaru. Subaru. They're all rebuilt engines. No, I know. We went over this. So <laughs> it's a 2.5 out of a Legacy with a 2 liter head. I think it's like an STI crank, ACL bearings and stuff. So it's, it's a decent rebuild. Derek, what do you think about this thing? I mean, it made it here. You're not wrong. So it's a win already. I went slightly over budget. He had it listed for 35, right? He went down to 24. I offered him two, and he took twenty-two. You're the worst. What? You're the worst. <laughs> well, no, he probably he probably would have done two, but that's all, right, all right. Whatever. Here we go. We got a mint Subaru. This is best case scenario right here. So two hundred thousand on the chassis, apparently ten thousand on the rebuild. It's got a good clutch in it. Um, it's got an exhaust, new struts, new front brakes. Uh, it's not bad. She's pretty sweet. It's got a sticky steering wheel, no AC. 
Hasn't been jumped yet. Huh. Yet. Yet. To our knowledge. My back is still hurting from the last time. All right. I know you guys have been wanting to see me do Subaru for a while, and even though this isn't gonna be like an actual like build build, I hope you guys are excited about it. So take a second right now, and this would be the time to hit the thumbs up button. One other thing, we don't really have a plan for what we're doing with this stuff. Uh, the plan is to have fun uh -huh. and be entertaining. So with that in <laughs> mind, we're 100% gonna do whatever you guys tell us to do with these. Yeah. So if you have ideas, let us know. I mean, obviously we wanna take on some dirt roads and jump them mm -hmm. and stuff, but. Be, be, be realistic too. Yeah, give us some ideas, because th this is for you. I got this car for you guys. Maybe, maybe best giveaway yet at the end. I, dude, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Let so, have we gone through the car at all yet? Uh, we had it on the lift. It's got like torn axle boots. Okay. Uh, well, what about the goods? I see a forged blow off valve. Yep. Uh huh. So dope. Yep, that's it. Karen cold air intake boot thing. Not even. It's like half a boot. That's an elbow, my friend. Elbow yep. boot thing. Super dope. Oh, it's got a boost gauge in here. <laughs> No cob access port or vape, but it's got a boost gauge. Oh. So it's an STI crank, ACL main and rod bearings, rings. Uh, it's got machined heads, the valve job, timing belt, water pump, clutch, new struts, new tires, new brakes, exhaust, and it does indeed run good. So other than the fun, cool trick stuff, uh, I might do new valve cover gasket in it, just because it is leaking pretty bad, and I might just put some tape or something. Hey Jimmy, I got a question for you. Do you think I could use flex tape to fix an axle boot? Doesn't the flex tape get hard? I don't know. I've never used it. No, I thought it stays soft. Isn't it always called flex tape? Say flexy? I don't know. I thought it like, flexy. We could try it. Uh, well, well, you could use saran wrap, some zip ties. Go to, you know, go to JCPenney, buy some spandex. So, uh, in case you guys haven't seen this yet, Jimmy's putting a K24 rear wheel drive setup in a Civic. So if you want to see that, you would go over to Jimmy's channel. Thanks, Adam. Uh-huh, no problem. Looks like, wow. Nothing in the rear, huh? It's getting there. No, but it, it, like, nothing as in like, wow, you cut it all out. Yeah, you gotta. It, it doesn't fit as well as I was hoping. That's crazy. So we're, we're making it fit. I want it to drive like an S13. If this thing can actually perform. Oh, so you want to drift it? No, yeah, like I want this, I don't want this to be like like a donut, like burnout car, like a lot of them. What are you trying to say about donut, donut cars? Bur burnout cars, you guys something against burnouts? No, but like not for this thing. This ain't no z -Roy. All right. But uh, I want it to perform, so um, it's a longer wheelbase than an S14. No, really? To God, yeah. Um, wow. We'll, we'll, we'll remeasure it once I do this. No, but that's crazy. It's similar, and then with S13 front and rear front frames, um, I'm hoping it drives half decent. Though. It's weird because you look at the Civic and they look so short. No, well, that's how E30s are. You like an E30, everyone's like, oh, they're super short. No, I think super long too. Yeah. So. That's cool. Me and Jimmy are super excited about this because this is like us getting to do all the things that we always make fun of people for, but it's okay because it's all a joke. So we're like, dude, we'll, we'll tint the headlights yellow and what, what else was it? Uh, a big monster sticker on the back. That? Gotta do it. Yeah. Uh, we need the, um, what's that little pig character everyone puts on the mirrors? I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know that. I think it's a Ken Block thing. No oh. disrespect to Ken, you're the man, but yeah. you know, you know how it goes. Mm. Yeah. Neon yellow wheels. Yes! <laughs> Every single one different color though. Yes. Uh, can we, is plastic dip still a thing? Can we go buy that? Dude, I, I'm really excited for this. We gotta go find you a car. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy got the car that I was originally supposed to get. Um, you guys are gonna have to check out his video to see his car, but uh, it's pretty cool. I'm a little bit jealous. His car definitely has more money and parts in it. Um, I think mine's in a little bit better mechanical shape, but he definitely got a pretty sick car. So, uh, is he, looks like he's about to try to do a donut or something. <laughs> but the guy that he got it from also uh, sells WRX parts, so I bought like a Catless exhaust off him and uh, new steering wheel for my car because my steering wheel was all sticky. So, Jimmy got his car a little bit cheaper than mine. He ended up spending 1900. Um, I was at 2200. We'll see who got the better car at the end of the uh, series. We've already had so much fun with these cars and like we haven't even started. I was just like, Jimmy, give me what wing you got. Dude, Dude it doesn't look bad, right? That's some quality aero right there. <laughs> I mean, it's not paint matched, but. No way. <laughs> Dude, I wish we had a Type X wing because I could probably bolt that right on here. That would be the funniest looking thing. Ever. I know. Oh my God. Not bad, dude. Uh, now we're trying to insure these things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yikes. Is that thunder or is that Jimmy Oak Subaru outside? I can't tell. What did Jimmy get? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god, what was in that? <laughs> uh, let's not do that. Uh, here we go, guys. <laughs> my O2 WRX that was converted into an O4 so I could look as cool as Adam. Oh boy. <laughs> So Jimmy has the full details on this car on his channel, but uh, what, what did you? What did I make you do? Um, maybe flex on you a little bit, you know. Can I? Can I? Can I get one thing just for the channel? I need to see the headlights. Yeah, dude, they're so good. <laughs> I don't want to brag or anything, but bomb! What? Wait, they're on. They should be on. Nope. On? He's nope. Gotta be turned. Really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, wow. Whole thing. Yep. Wait, hold on. Oh, cut! Cut the clip. Let me know when you have the key in. Yeah, ready? Okay, yep. Boom! Oh! Oof. Dude. Oh. I didn't mean to do, do you oh, like oh, that. You, uh, you have three. Hold on. Yeah, I have three. <laughs> we were saying before we should swap like one of our headlights so like each one of us has some. You can get the broken one. I really want to mismatch like body parts on our I'm cars. I'm stealing your scoop. My scoop? Yeah. You're gonna have a, <laughs> I'll have a red scoop on my car? I think it'd be pretty dope. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know. We could try ten minutes. All right, so like I said, the plan with these cars, we want to hear what you guys want to see us do with them, but I think tomorrow the main goal is to just get them registered so we can start doing things with them, maybe do some graphic stuff. Uh, what else? Uh, we're just going to make them dope uh, stickers for sure. We need so many stickers. It's a Subaru. Yep. We need stickers. Mm -hmm. And then uh, mud flaps. Oh, yeah, for sure. I ordered some, but I know you're probably going to do some sort of creative crap. Where can we get hella horns from? Yeah, we need, we those. need those. I bet the Subaru part out guy has some. <laughs> Uh, wait, I, I gotta show my exhaust that I got. Can okay, we, hold on. What? D disclaimer, whoa, 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 whoa. we're not trying to disrespect anyone. We're just having fun. So don't yep. worry about it, guys. What's up, Subi guys? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Says the guy that pulled into the garage with a massive vape cloud. <laughs> that, was a, that was a team effort. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I just keep smiling. That's what cars are about, dude. Yeah, he's laughing as he's tearing my car apart uh, on my what? channel. Dude, I always wanted a WRX. So yeah, the fact that I get to make all these mind. rumbly noises and... I didn't break yours. All right, maybe I broke it a little bit. I and mean, that's just the beginning. I'm so excited. We're gonna do some drifts in a little bit. We're gonna get our thumbnails now. Uh, I'm gonna head over to Justin's shop and we're gonna do our first mod tonight. And I think Jimmy is gonna work on some Honda stuff. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I gotta roll my fenders first. Mm, there we go. Definitely fit uh, 18 by 10 now. All right, so I'm gonna rip over to Justin's shop, do some exhaust stuff on this thing. Jimmy, DMV, tomorrow morning. I don't wanna. <laughs> I know we have to. I can't register the car in Connecticut because I don't live in Connecticut anymore, so we gotta do both in Jimmy's name. Sick. I'm so excited to go through all the tolls. So happy about that. What tolls? Yeah, we should probably keep it in state. Uh, these are not leaving the Connecticut border. No. <laughs> <laughs> Although we might need to chase some snow. That's, that's I'm down, dude. If we got to drive three hours north to go get snow, I'm down. Yours might make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll trailer yours with mine. I got a 2.5 bottom man. I could do it. You got it. I got you the got I got the, the torques. Yep. The torque. Yep. All right. I'm ready to party. I bet. Here comes trouble. <laughs> I'm getting soaked out here. Your camera's gonna die. No, no, it didn't. Yeah, when in doubt, go faster. I love the Supreme sticker. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! I thought he was gonna eat that wall. All right, yeah, when it's not sleeting out. Special delivery. Ugh. Ugh. I don't Take think it. I showed this in my video yet, but no. 50 bucks. Not Justin, bad. tell me what you think about these welds. Oh. So, there's no possibility of an exhaust here because it's oh. all just one piece. No, actually, that's not bad for a Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> I know who might have done that. I, I think I do too. You? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. rumor has it for the Subaru exhaust, they actually. <laughs> What? What's, like, what's up? <laughs> they uh, they test for exhaust leaks. They'll have one friend at one end with their mouth, and the other friend will vape and see how much vape mixed in another person's mouth. That's kind of weird, Adam. It's just weird. 
Let's do it. <laughs> this is your car? <laughs> the lift was just yeah. go red. Right yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be cool if we actually had like a, a specific budget, because then in theory you'd be able to spend three hundred dollars more on your car than me. You know, because I spent three hundred dollars more on the car. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at your rockers, dude. Oh. These things, are, these things are mint. I don't have those. The wheels are what's good on this thing. This looks like it's made for like an axle back with it. Yeah. This is like a mid-pipe axle back solo unit. So do you think that we should we should weld this one on to this? Or do you think I should try to get an axle back unit from our pal that you got your car from? Yes. <laughs> All, right, All right, what do we got here, kid? You're not gonna believe what brand this is. We cannot get rid of it. Look at this. What is it? Blitz? It's no a, way! It's exhaust, dude. No way. <laughs> Dude, yours is so much nerd spec. More like nerd spec. <laughs> <Is that hard? laughs> I'm a little jealous because Adam's underneath is surprisingly clean, especially for a Northeast Subaru. Look at, there's no rust on any of his suspension components. That's Subframe. Makes enough oil to coat everything. Oh, there is a, there is this though. The boot the boots split in half. Oh, what my boots split in half. Justin stoked because I finally brought him something junky to work on. Yeah, it's just so nice. I don't have to worry about like <laughs> dinging stuff and. Not that I do anyway, but it's still nice to not have to worry. I can't remember the last time we did MIG welds on any of my cars, so I was like thinking, oh, we're gonna have to pull it off the car and put it on the <laughs> bench and all this stuff. I know. And then he's like, nah, man, I'll just hack it right here as long as I can get the welder up in there. This is a big, big change from the Evo exhaust. Yep. <laughs> so the plan is to try to utilize this because I think it's cool that it has a blitz muffler on it and I don't wanna put a different one on. So he's probably gonna hack it up here and then we'll just weld that other section that I got onto it and then we'll have a catless exhaust and then tomorrow our buddy kenny with the dyno over here um he actually likes tuning these subarus so he's going to take a look at the tune on both this car and jimmy's car because both of them have a bunch of like non-stock stuff done on them with no tune so we just want to make sure the cars are safe and they're going to last we don't want to make a ton of power we just don't want them to blow up on us got it that's it so what's the plan now? You just pull this front section off. Oh, wait, was this all broken like this before? Yeah. That's where my exhaust leak was. Yeah. Wow. So one thing I find super interesting, you know, the turbo is set up like you would expect it to be set up with the internal wastegate and everything. But look at how this stock downpipe style is. This is all essentially one piece, so there's no flow or anything down there. That's all just a flat piece and then a little crappy exhaust there. And then this one obviously flows a lot better because it's open like this. Justin, you're saying though this might be an aftermarket setup? Yeah, you know what? I think that's like an aftermarket walker replacement or something. Huh. Because it looks yeah, like aftermarket. But it doesn't look like a performance for sure. No, God, no. Yeah, that's maybe you're right. Yeah, maybe it's like a you go to the parts store and you're like, hey, my cat's rattling. Yeah, and that's the $300 option versus the $1,200 option. Yep. It's been a while since I welded, so Justin's going to try to help me, and I'm going to try to attempt to weld this up myself. We'll do it. Yeah, we're good. Go for it. through on that one. I heard it. What does that mean? Just go a little bit slower. Okay. What do I do when I'm stuck? Just hit the trigger again. There you go. Okay. So just a quick little peek? Yep. There you go. Am I holding it too long? When do I get stuck? Uh, it's no big deal. You just hit the trigger again. Do I touch it to it when I start, or start from farther back? You can start from a little farther back, but try not to go more than like a half an inch. Okay, a little bit. There you go, just like that. Perfect. A little bit too far away. Let's see what that looks I like. I got a little hole. Yeah, but you can fill the holes. So now you can literally go in the other direction and uh -huh. just fill that right up. Just like that? Yep, exactly. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah. I see why you use the light now. Uh-huh. Perfect. I'm seeing what's going on up there. Yeah, it's tough to do the above. Let's 
see how you're getting those little... Yeah, what is that? Just, what's happening is... a dildo. Yeah. <laughs> the torch is actually too far away from the weld, so oh. the shielding gas isn't giving the full shielding that it could. Got it. One of, the, one of the biggest mistakes that people tend to make with these is that they try to run a continuous bead. Uh -huh. And because it's such thin tubing that when you try to run a continuous bead, you either get way too much crap in there or it just blows right through the pipe. I'm not gonna lie, I think I did a better job using TIG. I oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Once you get good with the MIG though, you can make it look like a TIG welder, well, but it's- way faster too. Yeah, absolutely. And it's like easier if you mess up, you can just beep. Uh -huh. You just go right back over it again. And you notice we didn't clean the metal at all. Yeah, no, that's So good. we didn't have to do any of that. I mean, you should, but we didn't. <laughs> this steering wheel's all gross and sticky, just because it's old. So from the same guy that I got that exhaust from, I got a, uh, I think it's a newer WRX wheel, but it's got a cool little Momo thing. And just a little bit nicer condition wheel than this one. Wouldn't you know conveniently enough, too. That wasn't even bolted in. <laughs> Look how much better this thing looks now. Oof. Let me see if I could do something too. You know, if I accelerate hard, this thing just uh, kind of comes right out. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to mount it somehow. One of the quickest exhaust mods I've ever seen done. I, I forget how great MIG is. Yeah, and it's definitely one of the quickest I've ever done for you. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. So we're about to see what this thing sounds like. Then I'm gonna rip out and uh, we'll get back to this thing tomorrow. The funny thing is Jimmy's car has a sticker just like this on his. Two completely unrelated cars, too. All right, let's see if we uh, get a little more rumbly now. A little bit louder. Not bad. Give her a, look, a little rev. All right, so that's gonna be pretty much it for today's first episode of the Budget Winner Beater. I'm gonna leave it here overnight, and Justin is actually going to do me a mega solid, and he's gonna do the valve cover for me. The, uh, that one, what is it, passenger side has a yeah. pretty bad leak, yeah, it's and nasty. I just wanna play it safe, especially if we're like driving somewhere tomorrow, I don't wanna have a leak in and smoking, because it dumps right onto that. I guess it would be the, the runner to the manifold from the front. Yeah, it, it hits the so. pipe on the way down. Anyway. Thank you, Justin. No, it's always greatly welcome. appreciated. Yeah, absolutely. And I hope you guys are looking forward to more fun with this. As I told you guys, remember to let me and Jimmy know what you want us to do with these because we kind of have an open slate. We have some ideas. I think tomorrow we're going to mess around with graphics and do some you know, fun little stupid stuff with them. But from there on out, whatever you want us to do with snow, jumps, dirt, rally, whatever, we'll be listening in the comments. So, thank you guys. Let me know if you like this. And I'll see you tomorrow. This is Adam getting a thumbnail. <laughs> you look so... Dude, you're so cool. You know that? Yeah, probably. Give me the bit. <laughs> I need to see a dope cloud from you, right? How should, how should I chill? How's this stance? You look. Yeah, American flag out. <laughs> I'm the JD. I'm not gonna do a bit cloud. Come on, no. Hit, hit it for the viewers. Come on. Do you want to be about this just, life? Just to be clear, Ju Justin, can you just clear? Justin specifically went out of his way and made sure I had a vape that I could use for memes as no nicotine in it. Because I don't want any nicotine. That's Wait, where you at? Justin thank, thank you, Justin. So for the sake of this thumbnail, if you guys are curious how it was made, this is a vape, or sorry, a nicotine-free vape. Hit it, kid. Come on. What? Do I, I suck first? <laughs> <laughs> Try spitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is monumental. The, oh, my God. Stop. <laughs> okay, let's get to it.